Hello, I'm Kimber, and welcome to the Nave News Update. Many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for today from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. The world mourns the passing of Badasage. Josephine Mandamin began her journey home on February 22nd. We have lost a great advocate, teacher, and role model. Grandmother Josephine, originally from Wakamakong unceded territory, dedicated her life to protecting the water and giving it a voice. She founded Mother Earth Water Walks in 2003. It's an initiative that brings awareness to the risks and threats to the health and sustainability of our waterways. Through that initiative, she has walked the shorelines of the five Great Lakes, as well as in all four directions of Turtle Island, bringing water from all oceans together. She has walked the equivalent of half the Earth's circumference, while building awareness about pollution, laws, fracking, and the selling of water. And you said you've been doing this since 2003? And how did it all begin? In 2000, well, it didn't start in 2003. The idea came in the year 2000, when, uh, when our Grand Chief, Eddie Benton Benet, talked about the water, that it was going to cost as much as an ounce of gold. An ounce of water is going to cost as, some, as much as an ounce of gold if we continue with our negligence. And in that, in that word, with that little word of if we continue with our negligence, turn that over, turn that upside down. And, and if we discontinue with our negligence, things can, things can change. And so that in 2003, when we started walking Lake Superior, that was the idea that we wanted to change the, the minds of people, that if they discontinue with the negligence of the water that they're they're, they're changing the, the attitudes, they're changing their own attitudes about the water. And so we, we want to bring that message again uh, collectively this time throughout the, not only North America, but all over other Americas and in the, in the world that we want to, to raise consciousness about the water and how precious it is, that we really need to take care of it no matter how much, how little we have or how much we have. And how did you just you become the voice of this whole uh, campaign of going out there and walking around the water? I think being the voice about the water is not by choice. It is something that I believe the Spirit has been given to, to, to the person that I am in terms of uh, my spirit name, which is Pete Asuge. That, uh, that idea that uh, when, when, some, when, a spirit, when the Spirit comes to you, you honor it and you and you do what, what what is required from the spirit. And I sincerely believe that that is what happened when 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 the when the question was raised to 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 the people when when the Grand Chief said, What are you gonna do about it? And of course, you know, it, it hits you and it and it, the spirit is already already within you and saying, What are you gonna do about it? And so that that's how that's how it has it has come to be. But it's not my choice, it just, it just happened to be that way. Grandmother Josephine has touched the lives of many and inspired a whole new generation of water walkers and warriors. The Lower Brule Sioux Tribe has been awarded the NRCS South Dakota Excellence in Cooperative Conservation Award for 2018. This award recognizes an individual or group's ability to communicate, grow, and innovate to improve the health of the state's natural resources. To earn the award, the tribe and its departments adopted and carried out a variety of practices and made many improvements on their land and management techniques. The Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation has welcomed the Sault Ste. Marie Tribe of Chippewa Indians as the newest member of its patient care network. According to the CDC, American Indian and Alaska Natives have the highest drug overdose death rates nationally and the largest percentage increase, which is 500%, in overdose deaths from 1999 to 2015. The Sioux Tribe Health Division is the first tribal health system in the nation to join the Hazelton Betty Ford Patient Care Network. While the Sioux Tribe has long endeavored to provide services to combat alcohol and drug addiction, 
In 2012, the tribe held a summit to identify how to deal with an increasing number of drug overdoses. The outcome was the creation of a tribal action plan. A primary objective was to facilitate better and more sustainable data-driven treatment options. Network membership provides the tribe with access to additional evidence-based clinical tools, educational resources, and consultations on best practices and program design from the Hazleton Betty Ford Foundation the nation's leading nonprofit addiction treatment organization, and its networks of quality providers. The Children of the Sun, as the Spokane Tribe refer to themselves, are going solar this year with installations in 28 locations, generating over 600 kilowatts of energy. Thanks to the support of Wells Fargo Foundation, the U.S. Department of Energy, and the nonprofit Grid Alternatives. The $2 million project will be one of the primary projects of Grid Alternatives Tribal Program. And it will be funded in part through the group's Tribal Solar Accelerator Fund, drawing on the $5 million pledge by Wells Fargo's foundation that was given to them last year to use over the next three years. The project will also have the support of SunVest Solar, a Pewaukee, Wisconsin-based tax credit investor, and the Northwest Office of the Native American Programs, within the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development. After becoming the biggest international Japanese anime film success of all time, the next stop for Your Name is a live-action American remake. While the anime is centered on a boy living in Tokyo and a girl living in the mountainous countryside, the Hollywood version will instead be about a boy from Chicago and a Native American girl in a rural community. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me and have a grand day. Step into Seven Winds Casino Lodge and Conference Center. Come and discover everything we have to offer. Unlimited gaming action. Northwoods hospitality. Delicious all-you-can-eat buffet. Relaxation and comfort. Great drinks and good times. Big wins, big fun. It's all here at Seven Winds Casino Lodge and Conference Center in the heart of the great North Woods.